right, Amy's with us in Dallas. Amy, welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hi, Rachel and Mr. Ramsey. Uh, not sure you remember me, but I called earlier this year, kind of overwhelmed with prosperity. Um, Rachel, we bonded over the craps table bit, but um, oh, and, and I and I. Oh, you're one of, of those. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, hey, you end up liking me at the end of the call, but I took all of your guys' advice except to increase my lifestyle. So I kind of have. We've kind of been having this like under budget problem, and what we've been doing is just putting all that money into the market which I like because it's down right now, but then psychologically I feel like I'm trying to time it, which I also shouldn't do. So I'm kind of like, what do I do with the extra money now? <laughs> I'm still under budget and I, I can't help it. <laughs> Having extra money left over. It's a great problem, maybe. Okay, so remind me. I'm trying to remember you, our call. Would you please run for Congress? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so you're out of debt. Uh, both my husband and myself are engineers. Um, yes. I'm 33. He's 32. Baby step seven. Yes, uh, one that's right. Point uh, I, it, back then it was 1.7 or 8 million. Now it's probably like 1.6 million net worth. But you know, who cares? Way who to cares? go! You've killed it. Well done. So what do you do with the extra money that you have every month? Is what you're asking, and you feel we are putting it into the market because you feel like you're trying to time the market, and you feel like your motive, your right. You, and I know I shouldn't, but like I, I guess I would do that even if it was up too. Because yeah. like exactly. what we do with our extra money is we just. But we, you've not we, increased your lifestyle because I remember talking to you and saying correct. you guys need to enjoy some of your money. And you have it. That's our problem, right? We've increased much our giving and everything there? else. How much excess? Um, I'm thinking like it's been like five five thousand a quarter. Oh, not much. No, no. I mean, well, we're talking to some people. 20, that's a lot. No, but yeah. in your world, you're you're worth two million dollars. You're thirty two years old. It's it's a thousand fifteen hundred bucks a month. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. And so I don't know. I just it's like do a. I don't know if you're going to tell me just find something to buy or no. do whatever you want. No, no. I mean, I wouldn't go buy something just to buy it, but I do want you guys, because you're both engineers, I know how you're wired. So, like, I do want you to enjoy life. And so increasing your lifestyle some, I would take some of that if you haven't yet. And, yeah, increase your lifestyle by a few percentage points and throw some of that extra there. And then, Amy, you know, I'm just thinking, like, what Winston and I do we have a money market account that extra money will go into after we've done everything. And if we have any extra, it's okay. It goes in here. And then we kind of have a short term goal. So whatever it is, whether it's replacing a car or we have a big five year goal of doing a pool one day at our house, we really want a pool. So we're kind of putting money towards that, but we, we like, we're working towards something. Um, and so that's always helpful for us to have that thing that we're working towards. So if you and your husband, do you guys have anything that, you want to accomplish or do in the next five years? Um, I don't know. I guess maybe that's part of the difficult thing. I don't know what the next goal should be. Yeah. I mean, it's like okay. What I did maybe it, upgrade our house. Yeah. What I did at your stage was I just threw the I money. In, I just threw the money in a, in a mutual fund until it was enough there to buy some real estate that I paid cash for. It was a simple goal, and so um, and I actually. Um, I bought a little lake house for almost no money after I got my first couple of hundred thousand in there. And um, that that little lake house is now gone, and now we have a bigger lake house. But it started a whole trend of us buying real estate with leftover money. I'll give you something else to do that I think you really ought to do. I think it'll be good for you after talking to you for a minute. Mm -hmm. Budget $300 a month for outrageous tips and random generosity at the gas pump. And I want you to walk up with cash and look somebody in the eye and blow their mind. Do that for three or four months and then tell me you hate it because you won't be able to say that. It'll blow your mind. Three or four hundred bucks out of your out of your thousand or fifteen hundred. Just 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 you don't have to do it for the rest of your life, but you probably end up doing it the rest of your life.